One of the viewers, Pradesh, recently asked me how to screen for Canadian dividend stocks which are near their 52-week lows. This video will answer that question. Watch this video till the end. I'm using a free tool, widely available and easy to use. You will also learn how to change only one setting to screen for stocks for any stock market of the world. You will also find few stock names at the end of the video. Hello, welcome back. My name is David Das. Thank you for joining me. A few weeks ago, I made a video on S&P 500 dividend stocks, which are near their 52-week lows. In this video, I'm going to use a free tool, Yahoo Stock Screener. So let's get started and let me share my computer screen. Now you can see my browser and I typed in Yahoo Stock Screener and I will pick the first one, which is the Yahoo Finance Stock Screener. Create a new screener and pick equities and I will add region Canada. You can basically add any, any region you want. I will stick with large cap and mega cap stocks. So now the number of stocks have reduced to about 219. I want to have the price greater than $10. And I'm going to delete the sector and industry for now. And I'm going to add a few more filters. I want to have an average volume for three months. And I'm going to add two more things, which is a positive dividend yield and also positive earnings per share. So I close this window. Now I'm going to average volume for the last three months, say 100,000. I just want to make sure that the, the stock is liquid enough. Forward dividend yield, want to have a positive yield, which is zero, more than zero. Earnings per share, again, same thing, positive, basic and the diluted, both of them. And now number of stocks have reduced to 57. I'm going to press find stocks. And now you have a list of all the stocks. These are sorted by market cap. And I'm going to show 100 rows so you can see all the stocks in one shot. I will not worry about the Apple. This is the CDR, which is the Canadian Depository Receipts. But I will try to focus on the Canadian stocks. Look at the right column, 52 week range. Here we have to do a little bit manual interpretation. This is your 52 week low and this is your 52 week high. And I will try to find stocks which are in the lowest quarter. So the first stock I find is Bank of Nova Scotia. The next one I found is TRP.TO, which is the TC Energy Corporation. Third one is Canadian Imperial Bank of Commerce, CM.TO. Fourth one is Bank of the next one is EMA.TO, EMA Incorporation. So that's for the large cap and mega cap. If you want to focus on mid cap, I'm going to select this and maybe delete large cap and mega cap. So now I have 66 additional stocks which are in the mid cap range. And let's see what are the findings. Find stocks. And I'm going to do the same again. I will go with show 100 rows. And I'm going to find out the stocks which are close to the lower end of the scale. So I got Northland Power, NPI.TO. Spinmaster, TOY.TO. Vermilion Energy, VET.TO, Northwest Healthcare. You can add these stocks to your watch list and you can do further research like fundamental and technical analysis. And when the time is right and when the price is right, you can decide whether to buy them if it meets your investment objective. 
please make sure you have proper risk management and money management rules in place so that if something goes wrong, at least you are covered. Thumbs up if you like it. Thank you for joining and I'll see you in the next one.